like a weird angle y'all but you know just bear with your girl what's up jazz nation welcome back to another mother freaking video okay period poo i am here with a q a y'all can see my baby sleep right here right there <laughs> we just got done filming the family channel morning routine i'm on a roll y'all i'm on a grind right now i'm doing a q a i'm only answering like nine questions i put it on um, instagram answer i'm gonna ask some questions and i'll answer them for you guys so i only chose like nine because i know the questions that you guys want me to answer i'm gonna have to explain it and i feel like explaining it takes up so much time and i really don't want this video to be like extra long so i'm just you know gonna answer like nine of these questions and i'm not gonna answer the same questions because you guys was asking the same thing um so i just chose the ones that you know wasn't being asked twice so with that being said y'all before we get into this video give this video a thumbs up and i'm sorry like the light from the blind is like in my way but um So just bear with me because the thing is in my way. Yeah, let's get into this Q&A, okay? Let's go. The first question is, what did y'all do for Lele's first birthday? So we didn't record anything, um, but what we did was we went to, um, where we go? We um, just took her shopping. We bought her a lot of toys, a lot of clothes and stuff. Um, it's really, it wasn't really much we could do because um, it was late notice for one. Um, nothing was going right. Oh, she also did a photo shoot as well. Um, but, um, everyone had to work. So we was going to, you know, go that weekend. But something came up. You know, when you, it's like, when something is planned, it never goes right. You know what I'm saying? I hate planning things because it never just falls through. For the most part, you know, we did something. We bought her a cake. And we, we um, sung happy birthday to her. And um, we took her shopping, bought her a lot of toys, a lot of clothes and stuff. So um, we didn't take her nowhere fun, but, you know, we did, you know, buy her, like, a lot of toys and a lot of um, clothes and stuff. Um, the next, uh, and they also asked again, they said, will her second birthday be better? Absolutely, her second birthday would definitely be better because it will be, you know, prepared better. Um, I would let people know this time in advance, you know what I'm saying? Because for her first birthday, I was letting everybody know, like, the week of, like, yeah, y'all don't, you know, take off work and, you know, because I'm planning on taking her to this uh, place. But, you know, it was late notice and I need to give people time to let their bosses know, you know, I have to take this day off, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like her second birthday would definitely be better. It would be um, well prepared prepared this time you know what i'm saying um so definitely question number two is how did you you and tay meet so funny story me and tay met um off instagram because i um wrote under his picture and i asked him to be my best friend and i had a question mark and um i had some type of flirty emoji or something and he responded in seconds y'all like <laughs> this dude didn't waste no time he responded in seconds and i think he commented back with an emoji or i think he said dm him and you know i dm'd him and then you know we was best friends for like six months but we was on and off best friends you know what i'm saying we were on and off best friends and then we just got together and that's why i never believe in that best friend junk because look at me and say we were best friends and now we're together so, I don't believe that best friend, John. But that's how we met. Question number three is, what's something nobody knows you can do? So, something nobody knows that I can do is, um, I can sing. It's only a few people that know I can, though. Um, but the world doesn't know that I can sing. Um, maybe one day I will show you guys. But right now, I'm still in my little shell that I'm trying to, you know, come out of. You know, I'm still shy. Um, I'm still scared of the feedback that I would get. Um, so, one day, y'all would y'all hear me. One day. Number four. When you and Tay get in an argument, who's the first to apologize? <laughs> the first person to apologize in an argument is definitely Tay. Me and him both stubborn, but he's always the first one to apologize. Because I feel like, you know, 
if you do something, and you should be the one to apologize. I'm not about to apologize if I know I didn't do anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I know it take him a lot to come up to me and apologize because Tay, he's so stubborn and, his, and he put his pride, like he just holds on to that pride. He don't put it to the side, you know what I'm saying? So it has to take him a, like a lot to put that pride aside to apologize. <laughs> but he's always the first one to apologize. It's sometimes where I go up to him and apologize too because sometimes I feel like I over-exaggerated uh, something. But if I feel like I didn't over, over exaggerate anything and I'm right, you know what I'm saying? I'm not apologizing. You apologize to me. And question number five, have you ever cheated on Tay and have you had thoughts on cheating? I've never cheated on Tay. I never had thoughts of cheating on Tay. Um, I'm not the type of woman to cheat because I've been cheated on and it's really not a good feeling. <laughs> it's not a good feeling at all. So. I wouldn't dare, you know, cheat on someone that I'm really in love with, that I love, that I, you know, I wouldn't cheat on, on Tay. Mm -mm. I wouldn't even, I don't have thoughts on cheating on him. Even in our worst argument, I never had thoughts on cheating on Tay. So, yeah. Question number six, who has the lowest patience in your relationship? Definitely Tay. He has the lowest patience. Like, I have patience. You know what? I have patience to a certain extent. Like driving, I don't have patience. People turn slow. People drive crazy. Drive stupid. I don't have patience for driving. You know what I'm saying? Tay, on the other hand, he just has no patience whatsoever. <laughs> None. And I'll be telling him, you have to have patience, honey. Like you just have to have patience. And he'd be like, yo, yeah, you okay? And he just, he just don't have patience. Like. <laughs> Tay has no patience. His his patience is like, his tolerance is like so low. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has no patience. Number seven, is there an ex you would go back to for a million dollars? Definitely not. And to be honest with you, I only have one ex. I would never in my life go back to him. Like, all the money in the world, I would never go back to that man. <laughs> like, he's not even a man. He's a little boy. I would never, in a million years, get back with my ex. I can make a million dollars with the man I'm with now, okay? I don't need to go back to that drama, to that cheater, that liar. Mm -mm. No. I would rather be broke and struggle than get back with my ex. Like, that's how bad he is. Question number eight. What happened to Daisy? So, um, if you don't know, me and Tay had um, a teacup Yorkie. Her name was Daisy. We had her at our old place. We had to give her away. It was just too much for me. She was pooping everywhere in the house, peeing everywhere in the house. And at the time, I was pregnant. So I had to do a lot of bending and squatting and, you know, picking up stuff. Tay had to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It just got tiring. Instead of just, you know, giving her, you know, away to just a random. We gave her to somebody that we trusted um, who also has puppies. And that was, um, I believe, Tay's auntie who we gave Daisy to. But, you know, them teeth cup Yorkies has a very short lifespan. So, um, Daisy ended up, you know, passing away, which is very sad because we grew a bond with Daisy. Yeah, that's what happened to Daisy. Last question, which is number nine. What's the plans for Christmas? So, the plans for Christmas is me and Layla will be heading back to Michigan. Tay's already in Michigan, um, but we'll be heading back to Michigan on Tuesday. And we'll be staying until, um, the 26th. So after Christmas, we'll be celebrating Christmas with Tay's family. They're my family too, but I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> so we'll be celebrating um christmas with them um so that's the plan they were supposed to come down here to atlanta but a lot of things came up and happened so me and lady just gonna go down uh to michigan and um celebrate christmas with them say peeps so that's it for um the q a I also wanted to get on here and show you guys my lovely braids, okay? I love them, by the way. This is my first time trying, you know, the um, box braids, so I hope you guys like it as well. I would definitely get these again, but I'll only get them when I'm on vacation, like when I'm about to go on vacation, um, because it's cold and my scalp be freezing, like my scalp is freezing every time I go outside. But y'all tell me how y'all like it. I like it. I think what topped it off is like the little, um, the little rings I got on here and the little, um, what's this, like little, 
string braiding string so i think that's what topped it off but um i like it y'all spump in the comments tell me how y'all like it as well and that wraps up this video you know what i'm saying hope you guys enjoyed this q a if y'all want another one you know spend that up in the comments too comment like subscribe turn on post notifications and i will see y'all in the next video jazz nation i love you guys bye